Hi everyone, I'm Jackie and we are enjoying life's journey while on the path to financial freedom. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another monthly self-employment income expense report. On these videos, I share with you all the ways that I'm making money being self-employed and how I divide up that money, what is it being spent on, what type of things am I writing off, and everything like that. So if you're interested, let's jump on the Excel sheet. All right, so here we are. This is the self-employment budget. If you follow my channel, you may be familiar with these videos already, or if you follow my regular budget videos, you may recognize the template a little bit because I'm kind of following a little bit of the way uh, of our personal budget. So basically, the way it's laid out is I have every single Friday laid out on the top of the columns here. My husband gets paid every Friday. I get paid at random times. So I just go through to my self-employment on Friday and allocate the money accordingly as well. Uh, these percents, I do percents in different categories based on the book Profit First. It has definitely been a game changer because it's allowed me to pay myself. It's allowed me to in reinvest it's allowed me to make sure I have money put aside for taxes, so it's really been a good way to manage the money that's coming in. Uh, in the past, when I owned a dance studio, everything went back into the business, uh, and then when tax time came, I was scraping for money. Um, other self-employment things I've done in the past, um, I put all into the personal money. Um, so now I'm dividing it up the proper way and this has been really good. So first the business income, the sources of income that I have. The first one is Google AdSense. This is the ad revenue that I make from my YouTube channel. Google AdSense could also be if you have a blog and you have ads on your blog that blog that are ran through that. So this is paid usually around the 21st of the month. So what I'll do is I'll just line it up with whatever Friday is, you know, right after um, that my husband would get paid. So I made seven hundred and nine dollars and one cent in May. It's a little it's it's less than um, April. So that's one thing you'll see, especially with uh, YouTube. I mean it could it just fluctuates. There's no guarantee um, one month to the next. So I have a few months where I've gone down and then I'm kind of going back up. So you know we'll see um, what that entails. Amazon affiliate, these are some of the links I have in the descriptions of my video. I link to different books or products. Um, and if you guys end up purchasing any of those, I do get a very, very small commission. And that's usually paid the very last day of the month. So I made $10.76. And this, um, so this amount here, the Google AdSense, this is actually what I made in April and then I get paid in May. This is what I made um, two months before and I get paid in May. I do what's called cash accounting. So I only calculate my income for what the money I physically have made. That's usually the easiest way to do it. And especially when tax time comes, that's the easiest way to do it as well because you've actually received the money. Um, this is operating expense hold. This means if I have to take money out of my operating expenses checking account to cover a bill, um, that's what that would be. But I didn't have to do that in the month of May. Instacart, I made $954.54. Instacart is a, uh, it's an app through your phone and you basically go and grocery shop and deliver groceries for people. You use your own vehicle. And then DoorDash is you, it's another app through your phone and you go and you, you go pick up fast food and restaurant food and you deliver it to people. I made $1,000. Uh, $14.23 with DoorDash. Some of these both include um, the hours that I actually worked, the income I actually worked, and some referral bonuses from you guys using my referral code and completing the certain amount of batches that you had to complete in a certain amount of time. So really thank you guys for using my code. I hope that you guys get got some type of a bonus out of it as well. So then what I do is all the income I've made gets broken up into different categories. So my first one is my profit profit account, my profit first. So 5% goes directly into my profit savings account. And so I put $134.43 into that. Every quarter, at the end of every quarter, whatever is in there, half of that gets split up. I keep half of it in there kind of as a, a buffer, and the other half gets paid to me as a bonus, as an owner bonus. So at the end of May, I had $312.30 in that account. 
the owner's compensation. Basically, I pay myself half of whatever I've made. So that goes into our personal budget. You guys can see our personal budget and see how that money is allocated. But I earned basic, or I basically, so I paid myself $1,344.27 out of that. The next category are taxes. So I put 15% aside into a savings account, and then at tax time, we'll see if we end up owing anything or not. If we owe, we use that money to pay it, no problem. If we don't owe that much, then we get to have another bonus, or we could reinvest in the business, so to speak. So I put another $403.28 into that account, so now that savings account was up to $1,066.07. And then our last account here is our operating expenses. So 30% of our budget goes into here. So I spend it on different expense. And if I don't spend all of it, it goes into the hold account, which is kind of like another little buffer. So the internet was 59.62. If you guys watched last month, uh, the internet had renewed. So my trial period or probation, whatever promotional period was over. So it had raised it. So that month I ended up paying like a hundred and something. So then they, they fixed it. So they, the difference was 59.82 and then moving forward, it's going to be in the seventies. So that's just kind of how that was. So 59.82 went to that. I do have two domains. I have an email, uh, yearly email. These will be due coming up in September education. So this is for my personal professional education, whether it's books, seminars, audio programs, um, conferences, whatever it might be that would go here. Um, client gift. So I did have a client who was uh, going on a cruise. So I did purchase a gift for their room. So that was $22.91. Office supplies. Basically, I needed ink and paper. So that was $50. Uh, equipment, $100. Trying to remember what that was for. I don't remember what, what that was for, but something. <laughs> Travel, $375. So we went on our cruise. Part of that, I can write off my portion of the travel as long as I'm doing, I have to do a certain amount of work-related things while on there. So doing um, ship inspections, um, you know, talking, learning stuff from the staff, doing things like that, I can write off part of my travel. I can't write off my whole family's travel. I can't write off all of it. But um, that's something you need to talk to an accountant about or you need to know what you can do. But basically, 375 of that. Uh, was for travel. Thirty dollars is my cell phone, my monthly cell phone bill, and then my thirty-five dollars is a personal development monthly thing I have going on. So the operating expense hold account, I put another one hundred and thirty-three dollars and eighty-three cents into that account. So basically, I had one hundred and thirty-seven in there um, when the month ended. Oh, I keep forgetting to put the miles in here. Usually, I keep track of the miles, how many miles I drove for which one because that is a tax write-off. So basically, I believe this year it's 56 cents per mile. So then what they do is they take whatever that amount is and they would basically count that as an expense. So that would lower your taxable income when it comes to self-employment. I hope you got something out of it. If you're self-employed or a business owner or you're thinking about it, uh, this is a good way to manage your cash flow uh, and divide up the money. So again, so that you're kind of taking care of everything uh, that you need to take care of. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.